from being a legendary JYP trainee who almost made it to the official Twice lineup, later winning Produce 101 and becoming the center of IOI, to gaining mainstream recognition after debuting solo, it seems like Jeon Somi has done it all. So what is stopping her from becoming the megastar she definitely has the talent to be? Jeon Somi started her K-pop career in 2014 when she auditioned for JYP Entertainment with the song Lonely by 21. She was a big fan of the group and her admiration for Pakbo made her want to become a K-pop idol. She got into JYP as a trainee, and a year later in 2015, the whole world got to see her shine as she participated in the survival show 16, among other JYP trainees. JYP was set to debut a new girl group out of the final lineup, and Sonya was one of the stars of the show. She almost made it to the lineup, only to be eliminated in the final round. Park Jin Young himself highlighted her performances, saying that she had star quality but lacked preparation. Somi was 14 at that time, and looking back, she partly agreed with JYP. I got to the end of 16 and was eliminated. I think it was because my dance skills are quite lacking. The group that ended up being formed in the show is now known as Twice. To this day, many people wonder if Somi got to showcase her stardom potential while being a member of Twice. While Twice is one of the biggest groups in K-pop, Somi herself is an all-rounder that seems to be shining better as a soloist rather than being just a part of a group. Participating in 16 helped Somi to gain attention even as a trainee and build a pre-debut fan base. This fan base would only grow as Somi would go on to participate in Mnet's survival show Produce 101, where she was representing JYP Entertainment. And if people didn't realize the power of Somi in 16, they definitely understood it while watching Produce 101. Somi was a force to be reckoned with as she outdanced, outsang, and outperformed all 101 contestants. Somi's fan base and stardom grew as audiences of the show became obsessed with her. A combination of those brought Somi to the absolute top in the show as she ended up in first place with a shocking number of 858,333 votes. That made her the center of the group IOI. Somi and IOI continued to promote and soar higher until their disbandment in 2017. IOI is still iconic even years after its disbandment, as people still say that they are the best group to come out of survival shows. After the final day of the group, Somi went back to being a JYP trainee with a fan base and recognition she already got from being one of the stars of the show and the project group. That made everyone anticipate her debut. Somi was only 16 at that time, so she had plenty of time to perfect what she needed for her success debut. It was around the same time as whispers about the new JYP girl group started floating around, with many people wondering if Somi would be a part of the group. However, the shocking news came in 2018 as Jeon Somi came to a mutual agreement and parted ways with JYP Entertainment. In February 2019, the company ended up debuting the group that we now know as ITZY. However, some people found ITZY pre-debut pictures that had Somi listed as an ITZY member, along with Yujin, Jaedong, Yeji, and Leah. Another pre-debut picture of the ITZY ensemble going to the Twice concert show Somi with the four members. So it seems like when Somi left the company, JYP replaced her with Yuna. And there was no doubt that Park Jin Young made the right choice, as the final ITZY lineup works perfectly. But this also had people wondering what would happen if Somi, with all her post-produce 101 fame, became a part of ITZY. Netizens think that she would fit the concept, but probably would have outshined all the other members and the group would have been called Somi and Friends. As JYP already went through this with Miss A when Suzy skyrocketed to fame apart from her group, not having Somi in the the final lineup was a good decision. People were paying attention to Somi's next steps since everyone already knew how talented she was and how legendary her debut was going to be. It's a shame that she left a company so big and popular like JYP, as people thought that she really fit the JYP idol look to a T. So when an interviewer asked Somi why she left the company, she answered, After IOI disbanded, I was not active for a long time. It's true that going back to the trainee life and not immediately following up the success of IOI was a fatal mistake. Somi was in her prime, but it seems like JYP didn't fully grasp how much attention Somi had on her after Produce 101 and IOI. The reason why she left went deeper, which Somi touched on in another interview. We had different directions in terms of music. There were many discussions that took place between us around the time I was leaving. There was no conflict between us. Her fans were ready to stand by her side, and their excitement only grew as Somi would go on to sign with YG Entertainment's subsidiary company, The Black Label. Many were wondering why Somi chose Black Label compared to all other entertainment giants, and Somi revealed that it was the founder of the label himself, Teddy, who wanted her in. She has excitedly agreed as someone who has looked up to 21 in Big Bang since she was a kid. Somi recalls the delight of her decision. Producer Teddy called me to come to the Black Label and I couldn't believe it. When I met him, he had so much passion in explaining all the opportunities he saw in me. I felt sincerity through his eyes and knew I could trust my future with his decision. While YG had some amazing artists under their belt, the Black Label had only a handful of artists and at that time, they didn't have any trainees. This this is why Somi came in and for the
the first time she was set to debut solo and not in a group. It was a big change for Solmi, but she said that she has never regretted her decision to change labels. In a reality show called I Am Solmi, narrated by Solmi herself, she mentioned how nice Teddy was to her during the initial meeting and how he described all the plans that he had for her. Solmi revealed how touched she was knowing that there was someone who was thinking of her that way. Teddy at least knew what he was working with and probably saw the potential and talent Solmi had. She is never holding back her admiration for Teddy and often speaks about him in interviews as one of her biggest inspirations. Teddy is without a doubt the most successful songwriting and composing figure in K-pop period. When I first saw him, it was like seeing a unicorn up close. I was in awe because growing up, I used to listen to his music and dream of becoming a singer. YG artists always had that special YG prestige around them and Somi's fans hoped that her upcoming project would have exactly that. She signed a contract with the label in September 2018 and finally made her shining debut in July 2019 with the song Birthday. The song was a hit and it satisfied her fans who had been asking for her debut for two years by then. After that, she came back with What You're Waiting For, which earned Somi her first win on Mnet's M Countdown. But we still weren't getting the superstar Somi everyone knew that she could be. The true star power only arrived when Somi came back with Dum Dum in August of 2021. Dum Dum was Somi's best performing single, charting well, and even her Dum Dum challenge on TikTok went viral. In October 2021, she dropped her first full-length album called XOXO, which sold over 55,000 copies in its first month. Everything was finally coming together for Somi. She finally debuted and people listened to her music. Yet Somi wasn't exactly reaching that predicted level of fame that people spoke about in 2017. And what's worse, Somi hasn't released any new music since October 2021. Her fans are sad that Somi isn't hinting at any comeback and spent the whole of 2022 doing different advertisements and endorsements. Even on her TikTok, she's mostly seen doing dances and silly videos rather than informing on any potential music or any upcoming schedule of hers. Solmi's biggest solo schedule in 2022 was doing an MC at the MAMA Awards, which seems just sad at this point. The Black Label is known for giving their artists freedom, and Solmi is known for not only being an amazing singer and performer, but also an incredible songwriter who gets to write her own songs. She spoke about writing the lyrics in English first and then changing it to Korean, and that takes a long time to perfect, therefore creating a longer pause between comebacks. But Somi is a perfectionist and isn't putting out any music that she isn't happy with. There are probably another number of reasons why things aren't going so well for Somi as people have predicted, but the long hiatus definitely plays into the cards here. Fans really hope that she would have been able to share more of her music when she signed under the black label. However, YG is known for their infamously long hiatuses, and Somi's career seems to be no different. In October 2022, the singer had a V-Live where she chatted with her fans. One fan commented, looking forward to your next comeback. To that, Somi answered, I hope I get a, I hope I have a comeback. Her sad expression was clearly speaking how upset she is about not being able to release new music. Somi hasn't done that for over a year and people are starting to worry about YG wasting her potential even more. She truly could have had her moment now as the Black Label has all the attention on them due to signing both Taeyong and actor Park Bo Gum, with the rumors of Blackpink moving to the subsidiary as well after their contracts expire. The label could use this attention to push Somi into the spotlight and the public could truly see the stardom factor Somi definitely still has. Do you think Somi's potential is being wasted? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.